Welcome to my kitchen. I am going to make pancakes, and these are special kind of pancakes. They're Norwegian pancakes. Don't let anybody fool you. They are Norwegian pancakes, and I have a Norwegian apron that says help yourself. So welcome, we're gonna make pancakes. And this is a real simple recipe, and you mix it up really quick. You know, when Rachel was just a little girl, she used to spend the night with me sometimes, and she'd come over and sleep over, and at 6.30 in the morning, she'd be calling me, Grammy pancakes. And of course, Grammy made the pancakes. They only need five ingredients. So first we're gonna start with eggs, two eggs. And we'll put them in, in the bowl. This is my mom's bowl. We gotta keep everything in the family. This is mama's bowl. And it's two eggs. And a whisk works really well. I like a whisk. So we're gonna whisk these together. And then we'll put the milk in. And this recipe calls for two cups of milk. Uh, my sister makes these and she insists on whole milk. You use whatever you have. Two cups of milk and we'll just stir it lightly. And then it takes one cup plus two tablespoons of flour. I've already mixed it together. I've already put it in this bowl. And I, what I'm going to do is put the baking powder in there now. It's two tablespoons of baking powder. Make sure it's a tablespoon, okay? And then you, you there you go, one. You can do this really quick. If you have somebody spending the night or you need a light supper, this is perfect. Okay, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Everything needs a little salt, but we didn't use as much as the baking powder. So we'll put a half a teaspoon of salt in here. There you go, half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna put it all together and have a pancakes for breakfast. I just kind of mix the flour. When I was a girl, we had to sift everything. And now the, the flour is already sifted. So we'll put this in the bowl and we'll whisk it. We'll just whisk it together. There you go. My dad was the one who made these at my house. He was good though. He'd make them for the whole family. Can you imagine seven kids and a mama and a daddy and he's frying pancakes? Oh my goodness, it took him a while. But they were to die for, oh, they were good. I don't remember my mama making them very much, but it was daddy's, he liked to make them. But mother was his helper. She was good to clean up after all the mess. Then I could hardly get my leg going. She wanted to take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding about it. which now I've been heating the, the griddle, so it should be just right. And I like to use spray. So we'll spray the griddle just a little bit so it won't stick. And then this is one fourth, one fourth scoop. That's what I use. Don't worry if there are a few lumps, they'll bake out. And then every, every pancake that we do has to have some bacon in it. Put the bacon right there. So everyone has bacon. 
this griddle works pretty well and they're not expensive. You can buy them at HEB or Walmart might have them. They're not expensive at all. Oh, we had a we had a gang here for supper, or rather for a breakfast one time, and Caroline and I worked together on the pancakes. Whoopsie. Sometimes the first one isn't as good, but just watch, it'll get better. You gotta have a certain twist with that wrist. Not to worry, it's gonna taste good. Then I fold it over like this, and I put it in here, so it'll stay nice and warm. I don't like, I like the pancakes warm. I used to use bacon grease, but that got a, kind of a little messy when you were gonna put bacon grease on, on the griddle, kind of, kind of a little messy. Some things are worth doing. Anytime you want to do something for your family, remember it's a labor of love. The Bible says, do everything. Do everything as unto the Lord, even making pancakes. And I've had company sometimes, and I've said, Lord, let these turn out really good, extra good. That's what you can do. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. You know, you'd think I'm just starting this, but I've been doing it a long time. That's okay. We'll just let this one, oops. I was gonna say the puppy will be happy, but I don't have one. That's okay, that's all right. And another thing I wanna tell you, if something's not perfect, don't worry. Don't worry. I've told people before, the only perfect person was Jesus. So don't worry, it's not perfect. It'll taste good. Be patient. Let him cook. Sometimes we get impatient. We want to take it off before it's done. We have to have patience. It's not quite ready. A few times if I was going to have a big crowd for breakfast, I'd mix this up at night, then cover it up and put it in the refrigerator. That works too. Then you can save a few steps in the morning. We got a good one. I told you we have to be patient. Now these can be eaten with butter and maple syrup, or you can have a special jam. Sometimes we use lingonberries, which is a berry that the only place in the world where they're grown is Sweden. And they taste a little bit like cranberries. You can have that on your pancakes too. I think, I think waiting a little bit and letting it cook was the thing we need to do. 
So sometimes good things have to be waited for. They won't happen all at once. Say, you can ask God for something and say, I really need it. And he'll say, just wait. It's not a good time. Wait. So we're waiting because we want to have a pancake that's perfectly cooked. There you go. So now you know how to make Norwegian pancakes. You can make them for your family and they're going to love you. Make them for breakfast or for an easy supper.